ever looked up at the sky and thought, is that a bird, a plane, or my online order? Welcome to the future, where delivery drones are zipping through neighborhoods and dropping off everything from sushi rolls to smartphone cases, no driver required. But while it's easy to get excited about the convenience, the real magic is in the details. I mean, think about it. Your driveway isn't exactly marked with a giant X, and your backyard probably wasn't built with aircraft in mind. So how in the world do these little flying robots know exactly where to drop your package? That's what we're unpacking today in How Do Delivery Drones Know Where to Drop Packages? Right here. On History of Simple Things. Most of us are familiar with GPS. It's what helps your phone navigate or lets you stalk your pizza delivery in real time. Drones use GPS in much the same way. When you place an order, your address is geocoded, basically translated into latitude and longitude coordinates. So yes, drones use GPS to get to your general location. But here's the catch. GPS is only accurate up to about 3 to 5 meters under ideal conditions. That might sound precise, but in reality, that margin could mean the difference between landing in your driveway or your neighbor's koi pond. To fine-tune their accuracy, drones combine GPS with other sensors and smart tech. Which brings us to the next layer of drone wizardry. Once the drone gets close to its target, it switches from highway driving to parking mode. And this is where things get seriously smart. Delivery drones are equipped with cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and even LiDAR, basically laser-based radar that helps build a 3D map of the surrounding environment. Think of it like this. The drone is now looking around analyzing tree branches, fences, cars, and even moving objects like your dog chasing its tail. These sensors help it detect safe landing zones and avoid obstacles in real time. Many systems also include optical flow sensors, which are downward-facing cameras that track movement relative to the ground. These allow the drone to hover in place accurately and judge things like wind drift. Now, we're getting into the brains behind the brawn. Drones today aren't just flying hunks of metal. They're also running complex algorithms powered by artificial intelligence. Through machine learning, drones are trained to recognize features in the environment. For example, they might be able to identify what a driveway looks like, spot a flat surface like a porch, or avoid dropping packages into a swimming pool. Some companies are even using neural networks, yes, like the kind that power facial recognition, to analyze aerial imagery and pre-map common delivery zones. So the more deliveries drones make to a specific neighborhood, the smarter they get about where safe landing spots are located. Aside from onboard decision-making, Drones also rely heavily on HD maps and geofencing, basically virtual boundaries in the sky. HD maps are incredibly detailed. They include building heights, trees, power lines, and no-fly zones. These help the drone fly efficiently and avoid prohibited or dangerous areas. Some companies even map areas right down to rooftop sizes and backyard layouts. Geofencing, on the other hand, is a safety net. If a drone strays outside a predefined boundary, say flying too close to an airport or restricted airspace, it'll automatically reroute or abort the mission. This keeps the airspace safe and also helps ensure the package ends up where it should. Even though drones are incredibly smart, we're still in a phase where humans help guide the process either directly or indirectly. When you place an order, some systems allow you to manually tag your drop zone using a mobile app. You might see a map of your property and drag a pin to say, hey drone, drop it here, 
right next to the garden gnome. Some companies even use QR codes or special landing mats that help the drone pinpoint its landing spot. You print the mat, place it in your yard or on your balcony, and the drone's camera locks onto the pattern like a homing beacon. It's not mandatory, but it sure helps improve accuracy. Let's talk about how packages actually reach the ground. There are a few different methods. Some drones are designed to land fully, gently place the package down, and then take off again. Others never touch the ground. They hover and use a cable system to lower your package like a tiny airlift operation. Hover drop systems are particularly useful for uneven terrain or locations with pets and children running around. The drone can stay safely in the air while delivering your goods with precision. These systems use cameras and altitude sensors to lower the package exactly where it's supposed to go, adjusting in real time if something moves into the drop zone. So, where's this all headed? As technology advances, drones are expected to become more independent and precise. We're looking at improvements in real-time 3D mapping, better AI decision-making, and integration with smart homes. Imagine a drone communicating with your home security system or smart doorbell to confirm delivery. We might also see drone-to-drone -drone communication where delivery drones share environmental data with one another to avoid accidents and optimize flight paths, almost like a swarm of bees coordinating in real time. Companies like Amazon, Google Wing, and Zipline are already pushing these boundaries. And as regulations catch up, drone deliveries could become as common as food delivery apps are today. So to sum it all up, delivery drones use a combo of GPS, sensors, cameras, AI, and human input to find the best and safest spot to drop your package. It's a pretty impressive blend of high-tech navigation, real-time decision-making, and clever engineering. Next time a drone drops a box near your front porch, just remember, it's not luck or magic. It's a mini marvel of modern logistics. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.